We'll have to back to back away game. Stoke City return home today. Hoping that prompts a return as well to winning ways. It's four victories in five in all competitions this season for the Potters in front of their own fans. It's like an otherwise difficult start to the campaign for a new luck squad. And it's expected to be tough today against the Tigers, who have tended to travel well. Back to back victories on the road at Blackburn and Leicester does bode well for Liam Rossini's side. But Hull haven't won here in their last 11 league visits to Stoke. They think back over 17 and a half years. In the 14th minute of the match, the applause ringing around the stadium is in memory of Rafe Lawton. He passed away in July, aged just 14 after eight months on life support. Beaten in the last five meetings with Hull, they had one four in a row. So the last one finished goalless. Bulletin trying to get in behind here, cutting it back. That's Connolly and in. Brushed off Rose on the way in, and Hull City have made the breakthrough. It's Aaron Connolly with his fifth championship goal. I think it was Rose that was just playing for Lejean on. He got away from Wilmot, showed really good strength and awareness to cut it back for Connolly, who was always likely to do the rest from there. Ball that Philogene deserves a huge share of the credit here. And almost went through the legs of Michael Rose. Really good this from Philogene. There's the deflection off the, the right foot of Rose. Travers couldn't get back in time. Did score in the 1 1 against Coventry City a couple of games ago. His fourth straight start in the championship. He is becoming the, the regular up top, and he's back on the ball here in the mood for more. Still with Aaron Connolly. Can he do it all himself? He had a go. It's Traore! It's 2-0! Two, two in less than two minutes for Hull City. And Adama Traore has doubled their lead. This one made by Connolly. Connolly right on the halfway line when that clearance came his way. He still had an awful lot to do from here. He did appear in the mood to try and do it all on his own. He fell favourably for Adama Traore, who reacted instinctively. Spinning to strike it all in one movement, really. Side and that ball was played. And he'd been inside his own half, of course, that would be academic, but he was still just in Stoke City territory. Flag stayed down. And what followed has given Stoke City really everything to do. To Berger is the player being sacrificed in midfield. Could be a technical alteration this by Neil. So early in the game. The wrong side of those grey areas again, as he put it. Stans would be heading for the top four today. In advance with Seri. Slater wide for Rupin van Agra. Gooch here, he's stuck to his task. Little option really, other than to concede the corner. A lot of movement in the middle. Not a bad ball either. It was met by Connolly, kept out by Travers. Snake survived the initial scare, but they're not entirely out of trouble yet here. Christie. Made the faintest of contacts with it, really, and it was actually Daniel Johnson on the line that was able to clear it rather than Travers, who didn't get fingertips to that. Seri, little slip under pressure, though. And what followed was always going to cost him. He might actually settle for that 
in the circumstances. To be spectacular from here, it would certainly be significant for Stoke City. Good effort, and it's matched by the save from Allsop. He caught it sweetly, Hexabanovic. Two goal scorers make way, and that's for Connolly in attack. So introduced into the action comes Scott Twine. He had started every game since his arrival, as indeed the lap had done this season as well. It showcases, doesn't it, the strength of the whole City squad right now. Established regulars that they can call upon, but that is neatly done, and this is Haksabanovic. Back in towards Andre Vidigal, the effort from Thompson is blocked, there's Wesley, and there's a really good save. First block was by Greaves, and that's a super reaction save from Allsop. Oh, really have threatened the third. And double figures now for shots at goal. Clinical. They've taken the two that matter at the moment. Which is why they have this degree of control over the contest at this stage. There's Tyler Morton. Taking it up to Slater. Oh, that will do it. 3 0 Hull City. Regan Slater has them out of sight. And heading for the top four in the table. Don't were stretched despite having numbers back behind the ball. Morton heavily involved in squaring it for Slater. There was a deflection which took it away from the dive of the goalkeeper, but he caught it sweetly here, Regan Slater. Four wins and three draws in starting with that opening day defeat at Norwich City. Impressive start to the season for Liam Rossini. Defeating five winless games for Stoke in the Championship, and unless they can find something in this closing quarter of an hour, they will have failed to score in all four of those defeats as well. Vidigal able to ride the challenge and find the finish with precision. Something to work with maybe for Stoke City. The player who made the move from Portugal to the Potteries has picked his spot. Just restored a little bit of a lifeline maybe for his side. It would still be improbable from here. But it's something to work with. Rode the challenge and got away from Greaves to open up a sight of goal. They have been difficult to break down. It's a point Alex Neal made before the game when assessing the opposition that even when teams have been on top against Hull, the Tigers have stayed in games. They've had a knack of being very difficult to beat. Hence the long unbeaten run that they are on. And they have it here with Jaden Filagine to finish things off once and for all with the fourth. And Slater is determined to try and get his goal. He might not be able to claim that third one. And this time he's denied. That's the job really well done by Hull City today. And it brings about a chorus of boos from the Stoke supporters that had stayed to the painful conclusion it's a part of the world where Hull have reaped very little reward in recent generations but that ends here the Tigers hit the top four with a third straight win on the road two goals in the space of two first half minutes setting them well on their way Aaron Connolly got the first half an hour in played his part in the second that was scored by Adama Traore and Stoke really after that never quite got close enough just one point 
from their last five games now. They've gone that three behind after Lyndon Gooch deflected in an effort that Regan Slater will still try and claim it may well go down as an own goal. Well, City won't care. Andre Vidigal did get one back for Stoke and had the final say in the scoring, but it wasn't to prompt a dramatic late response as they slipped to defeat. Full-time at the Bet365 Stadium. Stoke City 1, Hull City 3.